Hi, this is Don Southerton and another episode of Everything Korea. Before we start, I'd just like to give you an FYI. I'll be, uh, I'm in Golden, Colorado today doing the broadcast. Later this week, I'll be in Southern California in the Orange County, Irvine, LA area. So if you want to connect, uh, please feel free to reach out and maybe we can meet up and, and discuss. All that said, let's jump right into this week's uh, session. I've titled it, uh, appropriately, 10 Insights. And by that, this episode shares 10 insights into Korean business. This is something I often incorporate into the one-on-one -on -one coaching and mentoring sessions. It was uh, interestingly developed in collaboration with a senior Korean manager. And he realized that there was a big gap between what uh, the company uh, core cultures was and operations and norms were and what the Western perception was. Uh, he also felt that the Westerners working on his teams lacked first-hand knowledge of the mother company and uh, seeing the company only in the local operation lens. In particular, there was a gap between how things were executed in Korea and had evolved locally. Uh, and the model was much less efficient here and much more t time consuming and uh, in procedures. So to begin, the first of these 10 insights was trust. And there was a very strong trust between t Korean teams and the company. This is also because of a, uh, often because of a legacy of achieving many bold accomplishments. Uh, and these were often seen as uh, impossible tasks. The second was family. Traditional family norms permeate the Korean workplace. Elder brother as the boss, senior manager, and the related concept that co-workers were seen as family. Third, challenge. A one-word summary of the Korean workplace would be challenge, both in how it has overcome those and what it expects of its local and global teams. Input. Companies are very hierarchical, but actively demand input from all levels. In fact, top management makes decisions based on the expectations that the lower level have considered all possible outcomes and challenges. And this ties into my recommendations for uh, global companies working with Korean companies that you just don't present one option or one outcome, that you look very deep, drill very deep, and, and present a number of options because this is what is expected for the Korean teams then to be sharing at a higher level. Uh, next uh, is uh, teamwork. Once a decision is made, all dissenting or differing opinions unite to embrace success. So it's a very team-based approach uh, and that. Solution. In Korea, employees do not badmouth or put down the company. In fact, employees feel that such an attitude is part of the problem and not part of the solution. Even among friends, negative thoughts are not shared. Relationships. From higher ranks to lower ranks, they're also, they are very hierarchical, but they're also, it's, very, it's also very protective in how they run their organizations. On one level, norms dictate that seniors are demanding on their juniors. Uh, one reason is to make sure that juniors learn from the work expectations, practices, and culture. On another level, workers must ensure that mistakes are not made that could reflect badly on their seniors, the department, or the company. Once the junior works for a senior, that junior is part of the network of other employees under the umbrella and protection of the senior. Expectations. There are very high expectations that must be met. And this is a sort of a cru crucial point. Doing a great job is what you're paid to do. So there's usually not a lot of, uh, of praise and, rec and, and recognition because just doing a great job or an outstanding job is really what they expect everyone to do. Collaboration. You know, the American workforce process is also one that receive an assignment, clarify detail, details, go off, work hard, come back with results. The Korean staff take a different approach. They will receive an assignment, work and discuss it collectively with others, go back to the manager on multiple occasions to informally make sure they're following the right path that the manager wants. This method takes time, but the Korean workers know that when the manager sees the results, they will, it will be what the senior requested. Adaptability, flexibility, acceptance of change. Pro, uh, uh, flexibility, acceptance of change. Uh, projects are subject to lots of change. Some speed up, while others stall. 
So that was these 10 points. I'm speaking at a very high level. In some of my books and my writings, I, I elaborate much more on each of those. If you have questions specifically on any one of those 10 insights, please feel free to reach out to me. We've embedded in this a way that you can chat with me and set up a time. It's through my uh, meetme.so uh, forward slash Southerton. The link's embedded, uh, embedded, uh, embedded in this. Oh, one more thing. I was very pleased that my favorite Korean food brand, Mad for Garlic, is expanding into the Middle East. Uh, there's some links embedded in here that share the announcement. Uh, this brand would do phenomenally well in the U.S. I'm always reaching out to companies, seeing who would be partnering with us for here. If you have an interest in this, I've actually also embedded, uh, embedded a link in here uh, where you can go in and find out more or talk to me directly about that. But I've po po uh, posted two or three of the, of the press releases for this you know, brand re uh, moving into uh, from Korea. They've had a presence in uh, East Asia and Southeast Asia, and now they're moving into the Middle East, and we hope to bring them into the U.S. So until next time, this is Don Southerton wishing you all the best. Take care.